Hey guys, today we're here to talk about the Live Tinted Hue Sticks. I have four of the shades right here. This is actually my first purchase from Live Tinted and a friend of mine actually convinced me to go ahead and take the plunge because she was raving about the colors and let me tell you why. So Live Tinted was created by Deepika. She was a YouTuber, but now she is a CEO. She is an influencer. She just is an overall entrepreneur boss lady. And she created the Live Tinted brand to cater to and celebrate actually not just cater to to all skin tones. She started off with the Hue Sticks, which do a similar thing in that they are very multi-use and the colors are all created to be pretty much universally wearable for all skin tones, depending on how you manipulate them with lip liners or mixing the colors. And now she actually has a lip balm and just launched a new like body glow serum, which looks really beautiful. I have four of them. They retail for $24 per hue stick, but you can buy a bundle of four for 80. They are a demi matte cream to kind of powdery feeling product that can be used on the eyes, cheeks, and lips. What's really cool about them is you can tell how much work has been put into the quality of the product because they are ophthalmologist tested, which fun fact, a lot of products that are marketed to be used on the eyes or can be used on the eyes are actually not ophthalmologist tested, which is a little creepy, but doesn't stop me from using them. They are also vegan, certified cruelty-free, and hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic, which pretty much means that they are great for people with sensitive skin. They're not gonna clog or irritate your skin. They also have skincare benefits. So these are packed with vitamin C, vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, and squalene, which I really like because they are that demi-matte finish. So with the hyaluronic acid and the squalene, they're not going to dry out the skin and they're also not gonna emphasize texture, whether it's lip lines or textures on your cheeks or the lids. So the four colors I got were Grounded, Perk, True, and Rise. Rise actually won the 2020 Allure Beauty Award. It's a great tool for women of all colors, but especially those of us with some melanin to correct deeper pigmentation underneath our foundation. Now, color correctors technically on the artistry, like professional level, you want a color corrector that's going to dry down to a complete waterproof matte finish. Like it shouldn't be able to budge if you rub it in. This, not exactly the case. It will move around. There is still some slip to it. But if you want one product that's really gonna do it all, you absolutely can use any of these. But Rise, I know, is really popular. I am wearing all of these today. I have them on my lids, on my cheeks, and on my lips. On my cheeks, I am wearing powder blush and powder bronzer on top, but it's kind of the base color. So. I'm gonna swatch these on my lips rather than on the back of my hand so you can see them on the face. I am gonna swatch them alone and then throw on lip liner so you guys can kind of see the difference, but just a heads up that I know if I look crazy, I'm aware. Thank you so much. So this here is Perk on its own. It is very pale for me, like and my lips don't really have the definition. If you're into this kind of shade, go for it. Live your best life. But for me alone, this is just a little too pale. So what I like to do is layer this on top of the other hue sticks, or I will take a lip liner and pop it on around the border and just kind of blend it in. So this is what Perk looks like with just a very little bit of liner. And I'll leave everything that I have on my face linked in the info box down below so you guys can check it out. I would maybe even use a darker lip liner. I love the way Perk looks also as a pop of color, almost like how you would just use a super light nude on the center to give you that ombre kind of effect. Perk is great for that. So this here is true and I have no lip liner on and honestly I love wearing this with lip liner but this is great on its own and true actually is what I have on my lids today primarily on top of perk and on my cheeks. So true is kind of I find for my skin tone what I gravitate to the most frequently because I find that these mauvey pink tones are just really flattering and I just love it. I'm really partial to these types of colors and just to show you guys how easy it is to put on the lids, I'm just gonna go in and literally just draw a couple stripes. And then I'm taking, this is a Fenty eyeshadow brush, the 200 eyeshadow brush, but anything that's kind of flat and fluffy just gives you a little more precision and control. 
And look how easy that is to blend out. This is just getting blended over what I already had on and it's layering so well. You don't need a brush. You absolutely can just go in with your fingers as well. Next is the award-winning shade Rise and it's such a beautiful like pumpkin orange shade that is so flattering on everyone, but especially if you have a medium brown to deeper skin tone. Oranges in general look amazing, but these types of oranges are so flattering and this this shade of orange, like I said, is amazing for color correction. Again, the formula is not totally waterproof, so be careful when you're putting foundation on top because it can mix in sometimes. But as far as using this on the eyes, cheeks, and lips, it's phenomenal. And you can always pop perk on top of pretty much any shade. So for example, let's just do it on top of this. So literally right in the center. And what's great about all these is when you use them like all over your face, it gives you this really effortless but super chic like monochromatic look, but it's literally the easiest look to achieve with one product. And this last shade is Grounded. It's this amazing dark brown, but it has like olive yellow undertones rather than more red undertones, which in my opinion makes it so versatile because as a bronzer like a quick touch-up bronzer it looks so great on the skin and i think it's going to be an amazing nude on deeper skin tones and i actually am using this today as kind of a smoked out outer corner on my lids so now that you've seen all of the shades in action let me tell you my thoughts after having tested these items it's so easy to work with they slide and glide and blend like a dream. And when I say slide and glide, they're not like sliding all over your face, but they just apply so smoothly. My only suggestion with application is for the cheeks, I wouldn't go straight in with the crayon and like scribble on your face. I would either put it onto your finger or wipe them on the back of your hand and get the color there and then work from there with a brush or a sponge or your fingers. Just that precision application from the crayon is a little too precise and I find that sometimes that makes it look a little patchy on the cheeks. My second kind of con, I guess, is as you use these and you wear the tip down, you lose a lot of precision when you're applying it to the lips specifically. On the cheeks and eyes, it doesn't really matter. And it's not like you're getting a ton of precision to begin with because it is a big point. It's not like a lip liner. The flatter it gets, you're really left with just a big circle. So either use a lip liner to touch up or use a lip brush. Another thing you could do potentially, which would be kind of a nuisance to think about every time you're using it is instead of going in like this to fill it in every time go in with the sides so it's almost like you're sharpening it as you're using it and as it's wearing down I don't know it's kind of a multi-step process to get precision once you start using it more but it is easy to solve but there are way more pros than cons to this product that's literally the only things I could come up with as I was using them the colors are amazing super super versatile I hope she comes out with more colors or continues to come out with shades. The finish, like the texture of them is amazing. It looks like you're wearing a matte lipstick, but they feel so comfortable. They are so lightweight. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything on your lips or eyes or cheeks. And you can always layer like a lip balm if you feel your lips getting dried out. They just layer so well with each other and with other products. It looks really sleek, but the fact that it's automatic makes it so easy to just throw into your purse on the go. I don't know where anyone is going like that right now, but I'm saying potentially positive thinking for the future that this is great. Or if you just want something that's really easy and low maintenance and just kind of perks you up even if you're just sitting at home. So definitely go check Live Tinted out. This is not sponsored because now I feel like it maybe sounds like that. It is not, but Live Tinted, if you're watching, hit me up. No, I'm just kidding, uh, but not really. Actually hit me up if you're watching, but this is not a sponsored video. If you guys try any of the Liv Tinted stuff or have tried it, let me know in the comments what you think. Allure loved it, so I'm assuming most people love it and I think it's worth trying out. And on that note, thank you guys as always so much for tuning in and I'll catch you soon, bye.